All right, moving on to the quotient rule. So the quotient rule for derivatives you basically use when you have a function that is a rational function in terms of two other functions. So you have a function in the numerator and a function in the denominator. And the derivative of this kind of function, it's, uh, it's pretty easy, you just got to remember the, uh, the formula. So it's the derivative of the numerator, so it's p prime x, times the, uh, the denominator as itself, minus the numerator as itself, times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. So let's do an example here. So let's say that I'm given a function 3x over x squared plus 2x. As you can see right away, the function is a rational function in terms of two separate functions, this 3x and this x squared plus 2x. So to get the derivative of it, we can use the quotient rule. So the derivative of this function is going to be the derivative of the numerator, so the derivative of 3x, which is 3, times the denominator left as it is, minus the upper function, the numerator left as it is, times the derivative of the denominator. So that's going to be 2x plus 2 all over the qx squared, so the denominator squared. Now, whenever you're working with quotient rule, <clears throat> you want to make sure that you simplify the numerator <clears throat> because a lot of times what will happen is after simplifying the numerator, you'll be able to cancel stuff out with the denominator. Not always, but sometimes. And it'll simplify even more. So you don't want to just leave the numerator like this. Always simplify it. So let's uh, distribute this 3 in. So we'll have 3x squared plus 6x, and then let's distribute this minus 3x in this bracket, so minus 3x times 2x is negative 6x squared, and then negative 3x times 2 is minus 6x, and this is all over x squared plus 2x squared. So notice then how the 6x's, they cancel out, those are like terms, right? So 6x minus 6x is just 0, and then 3x squared minus 6x squared is negative 3x squared, and this is all over x squared plus 2x squared. And that's as simplified as we can get. <clears throat> so unfortunately, in this case, nothing canceled out with the denominator and the numerator, but uh, sometimes it will. But uh, anyway, that's the derivative here of this function, and we use the quotient rule to solve it.